For example, the gate fire burned right around here in Del Zura, and this map can show important details, such as it burned 1,913 acres in 2017 right in this region. The map can also show important details, such as burn severity, which can be very helpful for Cal Fire. California's wildfires have scorched thousands of acres, including right here in San Diego. Now that destruction is being tracked in detail on this new map. It shows every wildfire over 1,000 acres in the state from 2015 to 2023. If you click on the fire, it'll give you the information. Cal Fire the, Captain uh, Mike Cornett walked me through how it works. We have a, uh, a slider on there that's going to show the, the fire perimeter, and then once you slide the, the slider over, it's going to show the severity of the damage to the to the forest to the to the chaparral. It shows the normalized burn ratio. Simply put, purple areas show vegetation growing. Yellow marks where plants were lost one year after the fire. The slider also reveals burn severity. Though San Diego fires have limited data due to less forest cover. So that's going to help in planning uh, for for different projects and and uh, where we think we need to put uh, fuel breaks and, and different resources. The tool also also helps identify patterns like which areas keep burning. You can see where two border fires overlap on the map. So we, we continue to see kind of the same areas uh, burn kind of on, on, on a cycle. So th this will uh, be able to track that and show the severity. The tool is open to the public to search for any fire in California and even track reforestation efforts. It's part of Senate Bill 1101, a push for more transparency and wildfire resilience. This is something that we're uh, using now to make the public more aware and be able to use this to our benefit for firefighting. Burn areas are monitored for a full year before the data is added to the map. You can find the free tool on our website at cbs8.com. Alex Lai, CBS 8.